Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new updates to Microsoft's Copilot Generative AI tool. That's right, it's now integrated into Windows 11, and you can now ask it to do things with existing images that you already have. Let's dig in. Okay, so here I am on my desktop. Down at the taskbar at the bottom, you will see the Copilot icon. Now, if you don't see it, you can go ahead and search for the Copilot app. And when you find it, you can right click and you can pin it to the taskbar. Mine says unpin because I've already got it pinned. Okay, let's go ahead and run Copilot. All right, when you first open it, let's go ahead and full screen here. We're going to see, uh, oh, a nice welcome message. Brian, it's great to see you. And it looks like I have some options here of things to begin learning about or talking about, different topics, something fresh. So I can click into these and start having a conversation with Copilot. However, today I have some specific things I would like to do. So I'm going to come down to the message copilot field here at the bottom. I'll click in here where I can start a new fresh conversation. All right. I want to call out. This is the new feature of copilot. We've got this plus button here. We can click here and we can upload an image. I'll go ahead and click and I'm going to upload an image of a Japanese onsen, which is a hot spring. Okay, I will also ask the following. Describe this photo and I'll click send. And boom shakalaka. Just like that, we have a nice description of this photo. And I can copy it right here and paste it into a document if I'd like. All right, I'm gonna do this again. But this time, I'm going to ask it to do something else. Create an anime style image of this photo. Send. And look at that. It's creating something here. And boom shaka laka. Just like that, we've got an anime style image of the photo I uploaded. It's pretty similar, not exactly the same, but very, very similar. And in this one, we actually have a couple of people in the hot spring enjoying it. Okay, so that's what you can do with images using Copilot. Now, the other thing I want to show you is the microphone here. We can click here and begin having a conversation with Copilot. Hey, Brian, how's life treating you this afternoon? All right, notice up here at the top, I'm being asked if Copilot can use my microphone. I'm going to go ahead and click allow so I can talk to Copilot. Hi, I'm doing great today. Thanks for asking. Glad to hear. What's been making today so great? Well, I'm making a really cool video about Microsoft Copilot. Nice choice. What's your video's angle or message? Well, I'm showing folks how to use the new version of Copilot that's built into Windows and how you can upload images to it. That's a solid topic. People love seeing practical demos, especially when it involves new tech. Anything quirky or unexpected you've included to keep viewers hooked? Yeah, I've included an image of a Japanese onsen, and I'll be visiting Japan next month, and we'll be going to a place called Arima Onsen. Sounds amazing. Exploring onsens in Japan seems like a dream. Do you have any specific spots there you're excited to check out? I have a lot, but I need to end this conversation now as I need to wrap up this video. Thanks for chatting with me. It was a pleasure, Brian. Enjoy the rest of your day. Notice here I can click on the gear and I can choose different voices. Hey, Brian, what's the vibe like? Hey, Brian, 
How's your Saturday treating you? Hey, Brian, I'm here. Where to next? All right, wasn't that cool? We can sit and have a voice conversation with Microsoft Copilot on our desktop computer. All right, the final thing I wanna show you here is the history of your chat sessions. I'm gonna go ahead and click the Copilot icon and we'll come back here to the home view. And now you'll notice that we have this history icon. Let's click on history. And here we will find the history of my chat sessions. So I can go back into them and review what I've done or access the information that was created. To close out, I'll simply go up here to the top right and close Copilot. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.